Players Association. Dak would obviously be Pete Prisco's top free agent quarterback. Now, Jameis Winston is right behind, along with Cam Newton and Andy Dalton. Very thin at the quarterback position this year. Uh, but we are going to break this down with Pete Prisco and with Danny Cannell. Pete and Danny join me. I'm Chris Hassel. Thanks for joining us. Football happy hour for you on Monday. Pete, last week you told us 0% chance that Dak hits the open market as a free agent. 50-50 on whether or not he would get the tag or a long-term deal. Where are you at right now? Well, I think he's going to get one or the other, but he's not going anywhere. And I really do believe initially they'll give him the tag with the idea that maybe they could work out a long-term deal for them. The tag is really prohibitive in terms of what you can do with the cap. And if you're the Cowboys, you'd love to be able to lock them up to a long-term deal. So last uh, you know, thing that they would do would be put the tag on them if they can't get a deal done. Then they could put the tag on them and still get a deal done. So I think that's more of the possibility, tag him, and then get a long-term deal done that will bring his cap number down. Yeah, there's zero chance he's going to hit the open market. I'm with you on that one, Pete. But I do, th I, I wish they could get a long-term deal done. I mean, this is like a soap opera that just keeps continuing almost every offseason. It seems like we're having this conversation, and we read into every comment from Jerry Jones. Oh, is this, you know, is he taking shots at Dak Prescott? Does this mean they're going to move on? But at the same time, I, I wish Dak Prescott would take a discounted deal here instead of trying to break the bank and going for 40 plus million dollars which is probably what he's asking for go somewhere in the 33 34 million dollar range year a range so you can get this thing done so you can put this in the rear view and trust me if you are the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys and you can continue to win and if you could get your team over the hump you would make up that six or seven million a year and then some with the success you'd have and with the money you'd save you could put better talent around you build a winner a consistent winner and you are set for life for the Cowboys so I, I, I think Dak Prescott is getting advice that would advise him otherwise but to me, it makes complete sense for Dak Prescott to take a little bit of a reduction so you could spread some of that money around to give him better talent around him. So you think that Dak, who would be paid just under $38 million under the tag, should take less than that right now just, just to get no. a long-term deal? Uh, I think he should. I mean, I don't think he will, but I think he should because, you're, <laughs> again, every. What what every player wants long term security. If you could get a six or a seven year deal, which is something he fought against last time, that's what it was over last time. It wasn't over the number at the years. It was over the long term nature of the contract. But you're going to rework the back end anyway. If you go out there and save some of the money so you can spread it around the team, you'll be in a better position in the long run anyway, <laughs> instead of trying to break the bank. And we're going to be right back here in a year. Danny, 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 we work well together, me and you. We're a good team. Brady and myself, Brady and you, we're all a good team. Are you going to give me 25% of your salary this year so we can all be better as a team? Of course you're not. That's ridiculous. Give back less money, take less money to make the team better? No, no, never, ever, ever do that. That's ridiculous. Danny, if it not meant that we were all going to be Emmy Award winning broadcasters and it meant that we were going to have stability for the next decade, then I absolutely would. As opposed to being short sighted and trying to break the bank just this year, you're crazy. Sometimes you have to do what's best for the team. And I know no one's going to want to hear it, but look at what Tom Brady did and look at what it meant for his career when he could have been every season, could have been trying to break the bank. But unfortunately, that would have cash strapped the Patriots. Instead, he was one of the most underpaid quarterbacks and look what it did for his career and you don't hear anybody like Tom Brady has zero financial concern because he's going to go down as the greatest quarterback ever you don't have to be the greatest quarterback ever all you have to do is be the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys and you will make that money up off the field Ugh. Danny one of these days you're going to learn that it's not about the team it's about what you can get uh, yeah, ideally, you'd like to get paid as much as you can, and then the team success comes after that. Uh, you're not going to give back money. Tom Brady, the whole myth about him giving back money, that was ridiculous. In fact, quarterbacks, I used to go around the league, and they'd say, he's not making uh, the money that he says he's making. He's getting it back in other ways. So it's, it's a great myth. No, get what you can. Look, look what happened to him last year. This is a guy who didn't finish the season because his ankle was mangled. He, he, he exactly. don't ever leave money on the table.
Right, but he didn't give you get as much Last as you can when you can. Million. Last year, he could have got $100 million guaranteed on that deal that he turned down, the deal that was five years. And, you know, it would have been $100 million guaranteed around the Jared Goff, Carson Wentz type of money. Instead, he's got the uncertainty again this year. And, yes, he can get 37 tagged. And, yes, he'll get it. But he passed up on the guaranteed money that he would have had if he would have taken it last year. Well, you know what's happening now. These quarterbacks all want shorter deals. They see what's happening in the NBA. The deals are shorter, and they want shorter deals so they can cash in again. And the other problem with any Dak Prescott deal is he's not Patrick Mahomes, and Patrick Mahomes set the bar. Again, I've said this many a time. I had a couple GMs tell me when Patrick Mahomes did his deal, he did him a favor. How can you pay anybody more than Patrick Mahomes? So, no, Dak Prescott should get a new deal, will get a new deal eventually, and when he does don't ever leave money on the table all right Danny you good or do you have more I'm good I'm okay. good There's no more. do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment